Hey everybody, Flout here, back for another episode of Paper Mario 64. As last episode, we had defeated Tubba Blubba, as well as his uh, heart, and went through the Peach interlude and figured out that we should go to Ta Shy Guy's Toy Box next. Upon coming into town, we saw this place is overrun with Shy Guys. In this episode, we're going to have to deal with them. So yeah, so we're gonna want to go to north of town first. Hey, you little scamp! Get your hands off me! Give me my calculator! So, we can't shop here yet. Sorry, bud. I had to close up shop. Some idiot shy guy stole my calculator. You believe that? I need that thing to calculate sales, bud. I'm not a genius when I find that little punk. So, yeah. Uh, this place is crawling with guys. Oh, it's you, Mario. What a fortunate timing. Um, the town seems to be in pretty active today. It's none of my concern. I ha- it was- its voice was heavenly. If you keep going around and around the red palm tree in the distant desert of the Dry Dry Outpost, something good will happen. So said the voice in my dream. It doesn't seem to make any sense at all to me. In fact, thinking about it makes me so uneasy that I can't sleep at night. If you please find out what it means, please tell me. Yeah. So, um, what we're going to want to do, I'm just going to do a quick one, because I do want to get that one badge that we had, that I wanted to grab. So, there should be a badge right, or a star piece. There we go. Right there. Perfect. Oops. Yeah, so this town is in complete disarray. Oh, that's not the Toad House. This is the Toad House. I need to heal up real quick. Yeah. So, uh, we'll take a nap. And uh, just heal ourselves up. Did you sleep well? Yeah. I did well. Uh, I do really love this, uh, the, the Toe Town theme with all of the, uh, shy guys running through the, uh, excitement. So, we're gonna want to go to, um, I think it's Mervulis. And, uh, also what Merlin said about the red palm tree. Uh, I'm also going to do that. So after I get this one badge, we're going to make our way over there. Yeah, so there's there's a lot of uh, badges that we can actually get right now. Um, or a lot of star pieces. Uh, I'm not going to bother with all of them. I'm gonna I'm gonna get quite a I'm gonna get a few, but I'm not going to get all of them. Got any star pieces? I'll swap my badges for them. Yep. So. With 10, we can get the Pikachu badge, the Pikachu, the Peekaboo badge. So, Peekaboo makes it so you can see enemy HP. So, it takes three badge points. We're going to take it. Alright, these star pieces really help around my collection. They do indeed. Though, I <laughs> My phone vibrated, and I'm like, oh, someone texted me. It was a Reddit notification. Nice. Please come back and swap with me some more sometime. Yeah. I guess we'll do that. So, um, I'm also quickly going to uh, grab two more star pieces. One of them being right here. Ugh. Oh. And the other one being uh, by Shooting Star Summit. Oh. There we go. 
So it should be right. Uh, right here. Oh, I hate the double jump so much or the spin jump. There we go. Now, heading back to Toad Town, uh, I'm going to quickly go to Dry Dry Outpost and find that red palm tree that I gotta run around. So yeah, I'll be back. Real quick, uh, heading towards there, you can flip a panel right here to get a star piece. So here is the red palm tree. So if he said run around it, excuse me, can I talk to you for a sec? What exactly are you doing walking around that tree? You're making me dizzy. What? You're joking. You believe some you believe some crazy dream? Well, okay, I guess. I mean, I got a message in a dream a long time ago, but it didn't mean anything. Except there's a house with a whirling roof in a large town near a castle. If you do a spin jump three times inside the house, something good will happen to you. <laughs> a house with a whirling roof. As if that exists. I don't take dreams seriously. Yeah, so that guy will tell you to go back to Merlin's place and uh, perform a specific action. Alright, back in Toad Town. Um, if you noticed, uh, if you uh, might ask, inside... Yeah, so there we go. Huh? Oh, this badge is quick change. I had no idea such a useful badge was in my attic. Mario, you are a very lucky man. You should put that badge on. So, yeah, the quick change badge. Uh, this is another extraordinarily useful badge. That, uh, yeah. This is, this is why you need to, uh, really, really go in on a FP. Because, you know, a lot of these badges are really useful. So, yeah, I'm going to start trying to uh, figure out what badges I can start putting on. Um, so, Quick Change allows you to change partners uh, without losing their turn, which is really, really good. Uh, very useful. And Peekaboo is really good for casuals and uh, like recording such as this. Um, so... Uh, I got a feeling I'm going to be going in on some uh, uh, BP for a little bit. As, uh, yeah. It's all very, very, very useful. So anyway, how long has it been? It's been nine minutes. We still have time to go to the... Uh, Mario! Mario, Mario! Good to see you! We found out that you defeated Tubba Bubba. I knew you could do it, I just knew it. When I heard the news, the princess was very relieved. Oh yes, I've got new information about the honorable star spirits who are still imprisoned. Have you ever heard of Shy Guy's Toy Box? It seems that one of the star spirits is being held there, but... Where on earth it is? I have no idea. Oh, time is short. I have to go back to the princess now. Good luck, Mario. Princess Peach and I are always cheering you on. Yeah, so, um... Without the calculator, I don't have too much to buy. Hey, you thief! Huh. Oh, wait. It's you! A shy guy stole my key! You can't get into the storeroom. Uh, you can still buy stuff. Shop is still open. So, yeah. So, if you're, uh, wondering where Shy Guy's toy box is... It is, uh... Right here. We, uh, we went into this, uh, house a little while back. And I'm like, hmm, interesting. 
Oh no, it's Mario! So yeah, heading into this house will cause them to uh, kind of do that, but using Bo's ability... La... <laughs> la la... And he just jumps through the door. So we now know how to get through. Just do that and open the door. Jump on in. And in we go. Chapter 4. Trials in the Toy Box. So here we go. We're now in Shy Guy's Toy Box. Usually I work here at Blue Station, but since there's no train, I'm pretty much unemployed now. Welcome to Blue Station. Um, unfortunately, I can't take you to the other stations. We have the situ- we have the station and the tracks and everything, but the train's missing. Hmm. That's rather peculiar. So we have two paths that we can go down. One, two, one, two, one, two. So we're going to go down the right path. So, there's a chest at the end, and uh, this is where it comes in handy, uh, talking about Princess Peach. Nehehe, <laughs> perfect. Mario hates this thing, so surely he'll turn back, I think. That doesn't look like the sort of thing that bother Mario. I wonder if I should really trust what Princess says. Well, it doesn't matter. Bowser ordered it, and he's the boss. Yeah. So that's kind of what we're dealing with now. So, welcome to Shy Guy's Toy Box. So, inside a Shy Guy's Toy Box, tons and tons of uh, different little nooks and crannies, really fun music, really fun enemies. Shy Guy's Toy Box is an all around great time. So, uh, the Shy Guy has 7 HP and does 2 attack damage no defense so bow is effective they're sort of the, the basic enemies um, but uh, yeah shy guys are very fun enemies to uh, So, heading up here, it's just a lot of, uh, just a lot of, uh, kind of goofy stuff here. Like, it's just traversing a different terrain. Uh, here's a different enemy. Up uh, here's three different enemies. So, we got Sky Guy, uh, we got his balloons, and we got uh, a Shy Guy, but he's yellow. So, yeah, uh, actually, this is going to be a good opportunity for me to do this. I'm going to use Star Storm. Attacks every enemy with Star Storm. And it does 7 damage to everyone. Uh, it's a very, very powerful move. That's really, really great. Uh, 6 star points. And, uh, yeah. So, you just gotta pretty much jump around. Got a little coin block right there. Oh, dear. <laughs> Jumped out of the building. Uh, using park carry. We can make it over and get a star piece. Not bad. Not bad at all. And, oh, there we go. Parkour. Tons of coins, tons of items, and here's a um, mushroom. And here we get the storeroom key. So, yeah, it's really cool. What, you, uh, what you're what you supposed to do is kind of go around uh, everywhere and collect everyone's stolen goods. Really interesting. Oops. <laughs> and, uh, I... 
Almost missed this. Another star piece. Just jump. Now, uh, before I kind of head back to town, what time? 16 minutes. All right, I have enough time to do what I want to do down here. All right, so down here we have a few more guys. Oops. Yeah, these guys uh, don't like staying still. <laughs> Alright, there he goes, and, um, right here, uh, where is it? There's an invisible box, and, uh, yeah, right here is a, uh, guy blocking a chest. Stop talking to him. Hmm, what do you want? Get away from that treasure chest, pal. It's mine, see? Don't want to mess with me. Don't fight or fight. So, uh, I'm not going to fight him. I know how powerful this guy is. This is a, uh, this is an optional, op optional, optional boss that gives you a very good badge. Uh, I do want to fight him, but I'm going to probably fight him next episode or after I'm done with the chapter. Uh, I kind of want to fight him before the end of the chapter. Kind of do, kind of don't. Um, because the badge that he drops, well, he's going to give you a badge. I, I think it's pretty obvious, but, uh, yeah, we don't really have enough badge points on hand to use what he is gonna give us and I still want to equip quick change so yeah but I do really want the badge that he gives Yeah, so here's the groove guy. <laughs> they kind of suck. <laughs> I kind of forgot about groove guy. Uh, there's tons of different shy guy variations. Oh my gosh. Uh, so yeah, they kind of... Uh, they don't do the most damage, but they're uh, summon summoning enemies. So they'll summon allies to come fight. Um, I may end up doing uh, a little bit of grinding. Oh, well, here's this guy. The meta guy. Uh, yeah. You can kind of see <laughs> how how many different guys there are. <laughs> oh, well, it's going to be overkill. So, yeah. Six... 12. 12 damage. Jeez, that's so much damage. So yeah, 14 star points. It's uh, it's not bad. Considering there, I only used uh, fairly basic uh, stuff. Little coin. I'm going to... Oh, excuse me. I belched there. Uh, I'm going to get bow. As in here, we have a bunch of different stuff. And, oh, it's so sad. Here we go. Dropped a pow block. Dropped some cake mix. And we got this guy with the calculator. Alright. So, um, with all of these items, we can now go back into town. I will defeat you one day. <laughs> yep, um... I would recommend uh, taking that guy out as soon as possible. So yeah, but anyway, uh, this is going to be at the end of this episode, where uh, this episode we made it into Shoy Go Shy Guy's toy, toy Box and got back uh, a few items to give back uh, throughout the town. So yeah. Anyway, uh, next episode, we're going to be going up into the town and hopefully uh, returning a bunch of the items and uh, maybe possibly uh, 
doing a uh, doing the uh, that the optional boss fight on the shy guy for the really good badge. But uh, that'll be next episode. So uh, yeah, I will see you guys then.